Welcome to the WeDuck app. <clears throat> I'm just going to give you an overview of the WeDuck app so that you can have a walk through and understand how to use it. So when you first open up the WeDuck app, this is the view that you will come to. If you ever want to come back to the main menu, you click on the dots here or you can click on these three dots here and that will show you all the globes that are available for you within your WeDuck app. First globe we're going to explore is the news feed. This is general news and information that's happening in the school and gentle reminders. You can scroll through, see any posts. These are all targeted, so they're visible if they're shared with the whole school, your year group or your class or class where your child or children are. We go back to the three dots. The next globe we see is a calendar globe. This will have uh, notifications in for any events that are upcoming that are targeted to you. So you will see a number on the globe should you have any events. The next globe is messages. This is where you pick up all messages that have been sent to you. We can see here we have um, a message about a school trip so we can see what the detail is and then choose to authorize. We've also got a message here about your child being absent, so you can acknowledge this. It just gives the office the opportunity to track things so that they can have lists for who's attending, etc. And know that you're receiving messages. We've got a parent portal. This is where you can pick up all the information around your child. What you see depends on what's been shared, and that's based at school level. So the data you see here is based on uh, permission set at school level. You can see the relatives associated with your um, child or children and if you've got permission to message them. You can also report an absence directly from the app and submit that back to the office. You have a camera function here whereby you can actually take pictures of any doctor's notes or hospital appointments and submit them back into the office. And then you can see a list of all the absences you've submitted in this area. So you've got a visual record of where your child is with regards to absence. As well as the parent portal, we then have a notice board area. This area shows you letters that have been sent to you by your school. They will be targeted to you and they will remain visible until they're not needed anymore. You're welcome to open them up and see all the detail 24 seven. Some schools have also chosen to enable parents to complete forms using the app. They will be found in the forms area. The form will load and then you can input the data and again submit, submit that back to the office for collection where they will pick up your responses. The hub is an area where you can see all useful links targeted to you as a parent, policies, or maybe even any curriculum things. You click on here and you can immediately access those links that the school think you should have access to. The final bubble we've got down here is our payments. And this is the access to be able to make payments online. If you're not seeing this icon, that's because your school has chosen not to subscribe to it or they're in the process of implementing. Any things available to purchase will be listed in here and you can be directed to that area to make pay payments on behalf of your child or children. That is a rough summary of the overview of the app. Any notifications will be listed under the notification bell. You can go and see what you've been told about. Messages can be accessed directly from here, or as we said, we can click the three dots here to access all of the globes that are available to you as a parent. Hope that helps. And if you've got any questions, please email support at support at weduck.co.uk.